Let's go. I see Earth's reflection in the water. These are my photographs. I call them petroflexions. They look like petroglyphs, and they, they are reflections of Earth and water, so I call them petroflexions. So this evening I want to share with you how the journey into the Earth has changed my life emotionally, spiritually, and musically. So this is how I find the images, looking across still water, and across the way is mirror image. I'll take the photograph horizontally, and then I show it to myself and to the world vertically. So this is in Australia, and I call this image Copper King. Here's another example. This is Madam Russell from South Sutton, New Hampshire, my hometown. And I feel like I hear them call to me when I see them. There's a seeing and a hearing that's the same thing for me. When I listen, I can see. When I listen, I can see. I call this the offering. I feel like the earth is offering me a big opportunity to learn more about myself by sharing myself with the earth and vice versa. So I feel like I've been awakened to a magical mystery time. Awakening, awakening. So I woke up one morning and began to build Petroflexions Live. This is where I took my time to make masks and costumes to match the images and reflection. And with dancing, my songwriting was soaring and the drumming. And together we're on stage with no separation, no separation. This is my first selfie, <laughs> self-portrait. And I felt like my head was exploding. <laughs> so uh, try that with me. Would you do that? <laughs> uh, we all have passions and we feel like our brain is going nuts. So I was so mystified by what I was learning and seeing by these petroflexions. I have over 2,000 of them. One thing I awakened to very deeply was the realization that the earth was showing me neighbors in my own backyard that were from other cultures. It, you know, what a great way to meet neighbors from afar when uh, the earth just presents them. We don't have to travel to Africa or somewhere else. They're everywhere. The earth does not discriminate. On the left is a Tibetan temple or temple hat from, from uh, Tibet. On the other side is a samurai warrior. We all share the same sky. We all share the same sky. That is why you and I are one with everything. That is why we sing. That is why we sing. This is an a image I call Cocoon. This is all tight. And uh, he's a flute player from Egypt, or maybe Lebanon. The colors are so brilliant. Uh, I delight in showing these images to children because they, they see it. They see it's uh, a, a neighbor that they're not familiar with. Hearts everywhere, images. This is vibrant heart and rooted heart. I open my heart to see what's inside. I see love in my heart. I see love in my heart. So the journeys become more and more all about love. Self-love to myself and uh, the whole planet. Uh, snow reflects in water. It's so crazy. Even dirt on the snow reflecting when the uh, uh, snow banks are melting. And on the right, so here in New Hampshire, we think we know where snow comes from. This is snow making. Okay, on the right, this is really the way snow is made. There are no alternative facts here. So um, monsters, another theme in the reflection of the earth in water. Uh, at first glance, they seem kind of scary, but they're actually very sweet and kind and gentle. Uh, a vision of mine is that they appear on the screen one day, maybe they'll be in a movie. That would be exciting. Have the monsters. Shadows are all around me, and the shadows come from inside. The midday sun shines down on the rocks and causes the shadows, so the earthly message I'm getting is that shadows, yes, are dark and deep, but let's not fear them. Let's go inside, do our work, come out, and bring our darkness to the light. Uh, I'd like to invite you now to do a little tone with me. I call this contemplation. And let's just journey what we've shared so far. Uh... The 
four footed. So many animals are out there. Meow. So cats, there's dogs, there's llamas, there's chickens, frogs, lizards, snakes. I have found so many incredible animals. Children just delight in this so much. I love this world. I, I find like the, the earth itself is a masterful artist. Like, you know, man just can't make up this stuff. So when the colors appear brightly like this, with the eyes within the jewel, I feel like my resonance wants to kind of dance. So I go, I am mighty, he, he, hey. The earth is very emotional. I see a lot of emotion in these two images. Sadness, humbleness, fear, a lot of timidness and shyness. Let's be silent for a moment and know that we all embody these emotions. I am a bird, oh yay, 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 yay. The wings of time, they follow me. Wonderful bluebird, spirit bird, and snow reflected on Mother's Day morning. Beautiful snowfall, very brief to form the pair. Uh, this is a more recent selfie of myself, self-portrait. I feel like I've become more and more like the earth, which I'm loving. I feel like I'm, my arms are strong like the branches of a tree. I feel like my heart has opened and I continue to open my heart through investigating these reflections from the earth. Uh, these are my parents. Okay, my mom on the left, circus aerialist. On the right, my dad, the vaudevillian acrobat. So they've come back through reflection to cheer me on in my world and to hear me sing. I see Earth's reflection in the water. 